this is everything you need to know about Rust and we'll be covering all of the resources that you can collect. So first there is the hemp which you can use to make clothes and a bow, also sleeping bags and bandages and a few other things. Next there is the stone which has a collectible little node like that and then it also has the large node which you will need a pick to collect. Hitting the shiny marker on each of these nodes makes you collect it faster. There is the metal, which you will need to smelt in a furnace, which also has a collectible node and a large node as well. You can use this for many things such as crafting and building. Then there is the sulfur, which is mostly used for explosives and ammo. It also has a small collectible node as well, and you will need to smelt it in a furnace as well as the metal. These nodes spawn near rocky areas, mountains and cliffs and caves. Now there are a few animals that spawn in the wild that you can kill. The first being the wolf, which you can get skulls from. The next being the boar, which you can get low grade from, along with food. Same with the bear. The bear gives uh, a lot more cloth and animal fat than any of the other animals. And the rest of the animals kind of don't matter unless you're using them for food. Like the chicken uh, has one of the best foods for healing health. And then you can also kill players and collect their bodies to get uh, some cloth and animal fat as well which you can turn into low-grade fuel that you can use in boats and other things. And the wood has a small collectible along with being able to hit any tree to gather it. Now at the start of the game you can find these food crates along roads and near monuments which will sometimes have cans of beans and tuna in them. And you can smelt these cans in a fire to get metal frags which is pretty decent if you, there's a lot of players around you and you're having a hard time collecting metal or finding low grade to make furnaces. This is one way of getting metal frags as well. And now you'll see that we can smelt these three things right here, which will turn into their smelted versions. And once you collect enough charcoal from burning wood and furnaces you can use that along with your sulfur to craft gunpowder which is used in crafting ammo and explosives and you will need at least a level one workbench to craft gunpowder and that's all i have for you today on all of the collectible resources in rust if there's anything you would like to see specific in the future for this series leave a comment below and i'll catch you later